Hi, I'm Julianne Stevenson, paramedic, educator, and founder of Sterling Credentials. Today, we are going to have our first session of Am I the Jerk? EMS edition. The case of the war story instructor. Let's see what we have. Dear Julianne, my name is Joe and I'm a paramedic student. I really love my instructor, but I'm struggling because it seems like all he does is tell us war stories. Am I the jerk for noticing? What should I do? Joe. No, Joe, you're not the jerk for noticing. It's difficult. So the human condition is that we are broken and we need love and we need acceptance. And when people become instructors, a lot of times the, the field training goes like this. Here's your book, here's your schedule, good luck. And so they don't even realize that they begin using their class to fill the holes in their soul because they have this captive audience and it feels so good to be the center of attention. It's never with bad intention. So as a student, what can you do? Well, instructors, we should have a rule, a very strict and solid discipline that if we're gonna tell a war story, we're only going to do it because it makes a point. Physiological, pathophysiological treatment, ethical, anything else, it's, it's, it's gotta have a point, a purpose. And so the best way that this can, can be done is that you're, you're introducing a concept, you use the war story, and then you reiterate the point that you're trying to make. So as a student, what can you do? You can tell the instructor how great they are, how much you love them and how much you love their style and how great stories are for helping you remember. But sometimes you lose the point of the story while the story is being told. So would you do us a favor at the end of the story? Can you tell us what the objective was again? Tell us the point again. And this is a very kind way to help your instructor be better for the next time around. If you have an Am I the Jerk EMS edition question, email me at hello at sterlingcredentials.com.